Coming up on Cannabis Coast to Coast News this week, it's a spooky weekend for adults to dress up and do what all adults like to do, get in costume, act like kids, trick or treat with their favorite plant. The Summit Lounge in Worcester, Mass, always a high time. And with days to go before the 2024 vote, the question remains, which candidate will deliver the reform the industry wants and needs? VP Kamala Harris brings out the heavyweights for the final push, a virtual rally with Willie Nelson, Bruce Springsteen, and former President Barack Obama. The next president of the United States of America, Vice President Kamala Harris, So will that give her the edge over former President Donald Trump? What impact will the result have on federal reform anyway? Plus, the battle over Delta 8 hemp and Texas medical cannabis heads into the next legislative session in the Lone Star State. And a major recall of moldy products in Maine for a Massachusetts-based distributor, while the Bay State passes $6 billion in sales revenue. And Snoop Dogg admits to consuming 81 blunts a day while employing a staffer to monitor the intake of his entourage. And which gender do you think buys more weed? Now, it's a 50-50 shot, but buying weed from women is more than a brand. It's now the dominant gender when it comes to the product. And bidding begins in Colorado for Vanity Plate celebrating that state's pro-cannabis laws. All that and state reports from coast to coast on Cannabis Coast to Coast News with Elena Pinto next. We are pro-cannabis media. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Cannabis Coast to Coast News, Pro Cannabis Media's weekly roundup of cannabis news from the industry. I'm Elena Pinto. And if you want to have the show available for you anytime on your mobile device, just download the app PCM TV from the App Store or Google Play and you can have this content on demand. One more note from the state of Michigan. Falling prices over 600 licensed dispensaries and poor management doomed one of the state's biggest businesses. And SkyMint fell into receivership last year. And this week, the auction of the remaining assets were sold. Amy Carter is in Michigan and has more. I'm Amy Carter with Michigan Weedsters for this week's Cannabis Coast to Coast News. Former Michigan House Speaker and the former chairman of the Michigan Medical Marijuana Licensing Board, Rick Johnson, lost his latest attempt to leave federal prison years early when a federal judge denied his request. Just last month, federal agents seized Johnson's 40-acre hunting property in northern Michigan because Johnson failed to pay over $100,000 for a judgment stemming from the largest public corruption scandal in Michigan's capital in 30 years. The Michigan Weedsters recently joined efforts with We the People for Cannabis, Rally for Justice and Truth, Deschedule, Not Reschedule, which is being held on December 2nd. Assembly 7 a.m. Rally starts at 8 a.m. It is across the street from the DEA Museum at the rescheduling hearing. 700 Army Navy Drive, Arlington, Virginia. Over 43,654 comments were submitted on the Federal Register for the DEA scheduling proposal, making it the most comments in history for any proposal. 70% of those comments are in favor of descheduling, not rescheduling. To find out more, go to deschedule, not reschedule, dot info. Meds Cafe in Ann Arbor has been voted best dispensary for a beginner in Washtenaw County for 2024 Metro Times. Congratulations to the Ann Arbor team. Meds Cafe is also in the news this week for expanding. Not only can you find them in seven different locations here in Michigan, you can now find them in Key West. The first cannabis bar in Key West, Florida has officially opened. Stop by 221 Duval Street where they have good herbs and great vibes, 21 and up. 
That will do it for this week. I'm Amy Carter with Cannabis Coast to Coast News. You need to hear this if you're a proud Michigander. It's time to take control of our future. Remember 2008? You, the people, fought hard to get medical cannabis approved. And then again in 2018, you made recreational use a reality. It wasn't the corporations or the lawmakers that made it happen. It was you. Cannabis isn't just about getting high. It's a versatile plant that can revolutionize our lives. Think about eco-friendly building materials, sustainable textiles, and even innovative batteries. Imagine the boost to our economy and the improvement in our quality of life. Are we going to let big corporations control our state? No way. It's time to let your voice be heard again. Join the Michigan Weedsters, a movement powered by the people, for the people. Fight for our rights, join the cause, and grow with us. Subscribe and become a member at michiganweedsters.com. Together, we can make a difference. Let our voices be heard on the laws we put in place and keep Michigan, pure Michigan. Fight, join and grow with the Michigan Weedsters.